Okay, so we are now in game, and I'm gonna answer the question on everybody's mind. Calcep, what is the application you use to show the camp timers and the ranks of the players? And okay, it's a Chinese-only app. It's called We Game, and everybody in China uses it. No, you cannot use it on Philippines or Vietnam or NA or EU. Sorry, guys. Rip you. But let me go ahead and introduce you guys to the ranks in this game. So everybody in this game is diamond. And the numbers are the rank. So 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 2, 2, 2, and 3. And then I'm Platinum 1. This is my Diamond promo. Let's get into it. I got 59 ping. That is beautiful. So I'm going to put this Poro over here so that I don't get invaded. Reminder, Nidalee is one of those champions that will clear you out. So the Poro as a defensive Poro is really, really good. We just want a full clear against Nidalee. Not much aggression. We can also opt to skip the Crab. It really depends. So you should be warding pixel bushes. Like this should be warded. But our team's not warding it. So I'm going to go ahead and go up and do it. So the reason why I'm warding that is I want to know if she does the crab. That's it. That's all I want to know. She might actually vertical jungle with me here. And vertical jungling's where we trade the top spheres. My bot lane's not warding. Which is really, really bad. You should always ask your lanes for a ward. I don't speak Chinese, so I can't. But it's really important that your lanes ward this pixel bush. It gives you a lot of information early. That's why I went ahead and warded it. Because the amount of times that I've like killed Krugs and come down here and gotten met with the crab is just kind of insane. Yeah, so like... Oh god, no, my smite and flash are switched. Oh no. I'm going to mess up this game, guys. I guarantee it. I always mess up when I swap my hotkeys on accident. Okay, so we know Nidalee has not went for the crab, but we don't know she's in my bot side jungle, and that's why the word's so important. So you can actually learn something from this. You can see how blind and clueless we are from our bot lane not helping us there. Now, if we do the red and the Krugs and the crab, we get level 3. And what we're going to do is, since we have no vision, we're going to risk the uh, invade, because if Nidalee's taking our blue right now and everything else, we lose. Like, because we're going to go down there, and our camps are all going to be gone, and we're going to lose farm. And she's going to come back, and she's going to do topside. The alternative is that we invade topside, we meet her, and we duel her, right? And we can actually usually beat her. So we're going to pull this in. So she's not here, right? So she's probably doing my bot side jungle. So we're just going to ping it for bot lane, because they clearly don't know what a ward is. So that's one of the, these are one of those uh, examples of those really bad bot lanes, right? Like, you can see how bad they are. Like, they don't even have a word there. And I can't tell them because they don't, like, speak Chinese. Or I don't speak Chinese. Okay, Nidalee didn't take my blue. What is she doing? Um. Oh, she must have ganked and I wasn't paying attention. My bad. Alright, I'm just gonna keep clearing her jungle. Oh, yeah, now she's vertical jungling. So you want to ping it. You want your lane to stop her from taking your Gromp. Like, she's going to get that blue. I don't really care about blue. I got her blue. But we want to... Okay. Yeah, you, you got her from taking the farm there. That's fine. We're going to go back, grab the red smite. And we are going to get an early pink. So I don't typically get pinks because pinks don't give damage. But the reason why the pink is so good to get in this matchup... Is because Nidalee will clear your jungle. And so you want to have vision anytime she comes into the jungle. And also, if we go on this bot side here, we can actually help bottom if they get dived. So we want to put that pink, like, right here. Alright, we're going to go ahead and time this for 6.45. Uh, the camps take two and a half minutes to respawn. Uh, the wave is crashing in mid lane. Which, obviously, we want to do, but we don't want this, um... We don't want these wolves to be out of sync, right? Alright, so we, we got the XP here. It's not like we could have done much. I mean, we could have CS some gold, right? But I prefer to have my camps on a timer that I can follow than to, like, hold lane CS. Unless, like... Because we still get most of the lane CS, right? And our stuff isn't off uh, the thing. But since we took so long between this camp and this camp, they're not going to respawn right away. Oh, no. They're dead. Oh. So we are going to time this camp for 7.37. And the reason why we're timing that is because we don't have a timer from here to here. 
We didn't keep it going because we stopped in mid. Let's go to meditate. Heal. And now we're going to try and gank top. We have no camps, right? Our jungle's clear. So our choices are gank or grab objectives. And we're not in position to do dragon. Oh, God. Yeah, see, I just used, I used uh, flash instead of smite. That's what I'm talking about. Sometimes you forget. It happens. Happens to the best of us. Or just me. But I'm the best, so obviously it happens to the best of us. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and uh, start getting rid of these plates. Plates are really big deal. Okay, so their mid is Mia. I'm going to go ahead and back off. I think we're good. Now I can go back and get my farm here. And we can also place that pink eventually. Um, actually, I think I would rather grab the red. So what I'm going to do is ward this. So in case Nidalee's there, we're going to go down here, put a defensive ward, because Nidalee might go for a red. And then we can use the Poro. Let's go ahead and sweep this so that she can't use it to sweep my pink. And then we're going to put the Poro down over here. So this brand is straight up inting. <laughs> okay, so he's our uh, terrible player that we got to carry this game. Oh, 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 nice! I did not expect that one. Nice, and this side really is doing God's work up there. But yeah, the idea was to stop her from doing that. So we got a 952 on that camp. Just want to keep the camps um, as... That's a 1005. We just want to keep them attract. Now what we can do... Is we can actually, now that Nidalee's dead, we can grab this crab. And we could actually potentially uh, hit a dragon here. Now, usually you don't want to do dragon without Blood Razor. But if you have lane prio, which I feel I do... Even though this brand's terrible. So you have a few reasons. If you have lane prio, or if you feel like you're going to lose lane prio. So it's definitely possible to lose lane prio with this crappy brand, right? So the earlier that we get this, the less chance we have of losing it. I'm going to use my E to start. So the reason why I typically don't use E on dragons... Oh god, somebody's here. Somebody's here. We could tell because the dragon moved during alpha. Hopefully they're just going bottom. Yeah, okay, they're, they're, they're bottom, right? I don't know. Maybe she walked behind the pit. Oh. Alright, yeah. So, our brand has no prio. But anyway, that was worth it. So, the reason why we took that is because we knew that we were going to be losing dragons because this brand's garbage. Always recognize the garbage on your team, right, guys? So, I think that, like, even the Ocean Dragon is worth dying for. Because, like, if you die for it, you're still drawing aggro out of lanes. And you can see how I'm out-leveling this Nidalee. Even though she's, like, ganking a bit better than me, she's half my CS, and she was a level down... She's two levels down on me, right? And I managed to secure the dragon. That's a power of power farming, as we call it. But you have to be smart about it because you can't consistently just keep taking lane or taking the uh, camps. You have to do something in between. All right, let's go ahead and time this. So that was about 11.20 or probably closer to like 11.30. Just meditate so that he can't pull us with his ult. Because if we let ourselves get too low, he would have pulled us and feared Irelia and we would have lost that fight. Uh, watch for Nidalee here. So it looks like this game is me and Irelia. Like, our bot lane never wards. Like, look, they still have no ward. And they just keep getting picked. Or, actually, they're not even, like, getting hit by the jungler. They're just losing lane. Let's go ahead and uh, pop a Poro here. So I told you the blue is gone, but that's no big deal. So we are probably going to lose first Tower Blood. Like, I don't think I can stop that without ultimate. You got to know your limits, Yeah. I mean, I might be able to stop it. I'll at least force him back off of it. He still had heal. What the fuck? I'm actually kind of tilted about that. Give me the assist! Give me the assist! Nice. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I'll start using both spells there. They use their spells. That's our advantage there. Okay, so what I want to do is, since we're waiting for our camps to respawn, we have some time to do this Rift Herald and then do the uh, red after the Krugs. So our Krugs will be spawning soon. We have a timer on it for, like, what? 11.50? Was it? 11.40? So the Krugs just respawned. So what we could do is grab this Rift Herald and then do our Krugs. So we kill Rift Herald really quickly with this Blood Razor. Usually, like, a pre-14 Rift Herald... What you do with pre-14 Rift Heralds is you either use it for one plate... Or two, you save it and you get a Guntu's Rage Blade. 
Because if you get a Gunzu's Rage Blade, you can uh, use the Rift Herald to draw aggro and pull people to you. So what I'm going to do in this situation is we're going to hold on to it and see if we can't get both. But we also have the Earth Dragon spawning in like 68 seconds, right? So if we do a full clear downwards, we'll be there right as it's spawning. As long as my team doesn't suicide here. <laughs> I get an inting. That guy's hard inting. So I was waiting for my E to come back up before I flashed over. Okay, so I should be in pretty good position. Uh, so I don't want to release the rift because I'm not going to get the plates if I'm doing dragon. Okay, so we got a nice um, dragon. So we're winning in objectives. We're losing in kills. But honestly, like kills are not that big of a deal. People that make kills into a big deal are playing the game wrong, in my opinion. Oh, oh, that would suck if we lost that. So we got a 16-20. A little bit less, probably like 16-15 on that uh, Gromp. Brand, you cannot have this, mate. You. Oh, God, dude, this is getting, like, feverishly close. Oh, he did. Nice. <laughs> well, good thing I didn't give it to him, huh? Did we get first tower blood? I think we did. Maybe. Nidalee's coming. Okay, she's just uh, clearing it for me. Please and thanks. Oh, come on. Mate. I just wanted it cleared. Okay, so how close are we to our Gunzus? I actually don't know. 225? Or 1925. So if we had this camp here, we could actually get the Gunzus. And if we get Gunzus with this uh, Rift Herald, which we will, it'll be really good for like pushing bottom, is what we want to do. So let's finish this Gunzus and then push bottom with it. So the whole point of waiting until Rage Blade for the. The Rift Herald is so that we can... Oh my god. That would have been my Gunzus. Oh, whatever. Okay, team. Yeah, they're saying JS, which is Master Yi. I'm just gonna ping my stuff so they can understand. I wish Brand had some more wave clear. Jesus. Use your W, mate. W. Okay, I think you got him. Nice. Okay, so now we can do something with this. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and spawn this. And um, if anybody comes to stop us, that's perfect. Hopefully, like, we don't get more than two people. I think if we got less than two, we can definitely, like, just wipe this up. That feel when you miss every CS. Got the cannon. Okay, so we got some good prio here. And Lucian's pushing the other lane. So they sent a Valkaz to stop me. Okay, lag. Okay, fuck Sonyas. <laughs> I hate that item! Okay, but at least we're gonna get mid here. Okay, so what I actually wanna do here is I'm gonna get MR. So our next item, like, what are we gonna get? Death Dance, blah blah blah. I actually would rather have a Wits End against, like, a triple MR threat. So you get, like, Wits End and, uh, like, HP. I would not mind that. Okay, what? Can you take it for him? What? Come on, man! I have no idea what I'm watching. Whew. I didn't even get that tower. That was too bottom. We should have been able to make some kind of play off of that. Alternatively, you can build a mall as well. Oh my god, that hit me. Like, it doesn't have to be a wit's end. Oh god. God damn it. This game is just snowballing really hard out of control now. Okay. That went really well. I think Irelia is playing really well. I think she'll definitely be able to carry this. So just keep grabbing those objectives as much as you can. And since most of their damage is magic, just get that MR. Not all of it, but a lot of it. I'm gonna go ahead and shove this another wave. Can we get these people on dragon? 
I don't think my team's interested. Oh. I'm gonna grab Dragon and then Tower. Because the enemy team doesn't look interested either, right? Nobody seems interested in this dragon except for me. See guys, that's how you win games. Objectives, boys. Objectives. Like, nobody cares. So here I am, I'm like, oh, dragon. Nice. Alright. I mean, it is an ocean dragon, which is arguably the most useless. But, you know, I have enough dragons I can solo Baron right now really, really easily. So, like, dragon can definitely become a win condition. Right? I typically, I win my games by objectives, not really kills. Right? I'm not much of a PvP kind of guy. Now, I do like the 1v1 PvP. That shit's fun. Which is why I like split pushing. See, that was fun. Wasn't that fun? That was fun for everybody involved. Definitely not only me. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to start getting prepared for Baron. If you guys don't know when you can typically solo Baron, I do have a YouTube video for that. I'm, I could go and like clear some camps, but I would rather just go back immediately, buy my items, get a pink cord, and head to Baron. Yeah, so there is a video that'll tell you at what point you can do Baron. With the new Bloodline coming out, you'll actually be able to do Baron a little bit earlier in some situations, but the TLDR is it's still the it's still same thing. Solo Baron. So one of the things is, is like hitting Baron early actually ensures you goon two stacks. The enemy team has to come check this. They have to come check this or they lose it. That was unfortunate. Okay, if my team can push mid. If my team can push mid and force aggro off of this Baron, I can sneak it. So they probably just warded it. So we want to walk up. When they start fighting in mid, we want to walk up and pink it. Uh, we might find an Ur guy here. Uh, we don't need ult to take out Ur guy. Okay, we do now. He flashed. He healed. <laughs> he flashed and healed. It's a bit risky. Please push mid. So if my team can push mid, I can do Baron. I mean, we could try to do Baron as a team, but we're going to turn it into a contest. I mean, it's totally possible if that's what they want to do. Oh, rip. I just got kited to death. See, this is why I'd rather have them push mid. So we have them outnumbered. If we push mid, we could have forced them off of that Baron. I actually got red of lag spike during that there. So somebody probably will come bottom. It's just how it works. People usually uh, want to push a wave like this. So what we want to do is we want to pull these into the bush and use them to stack Conquer and Gunzus. So that when somebody comes, we can just kill them. So whenever your Gunzu stacks go down, Go ahead and alpha. Let's go ahead and heal up a bit. We have some lifesteal. And if somebody comes, we can try and fight it. Oh, damn. That was a good try. Yeah, we didn't have as much lifesteal uh, because we didn't bring Bloodline, I think. Yeah, we didn't bring Bloodline. So actually, our only source of lifesteal was from our Ravenous. My team can still win this. Nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. It's all about those objectives, man. Now we're gonna get Dragon. Uh, you gotta, you gotta keep her off of it. You gotta keep her off of it. Okay, yeah, she just hard leashed it for us. Thanks, mate. Would've sucked if her uh, thing took it. Oh, God. Okay, 
So we distracted three of them. We got an ultimate. We got a Zanyas. We pulled the pressure off so that my team can do well. They're going to get an inhibitor out of this, without a doubt. There's no way the enemy team can deal with them. Like, if Urga had ult right now, right? Feels bad to be him. But they got me. I got Lucian too, right? So we make it into a 4v4. And we also burn spells. Okay, so now we can finish this Death Dance. And now with the Death Dance, a cool thing about Death Dance... I hate that item. The cool thing about Death Dance is that... It'll let you just tank Baron. Like, you will never lose HP uh, with Death Dance. Like, the moment you get Death Dance, Baron is just so easy to deal with. And what this means is that you can use Baron to stack Gunju's Rage Blade. Like, if you're expecting a team fight around Baron, just hit Baron. Because you won't lose HP unless you get knocked up, but you can dodge at. You won't lose HP, even without E. And it'll let you stack your Conk and Rage Blade. So what we want to do is go ahead and uh, clear these camps around Baron while we wait for the timer to go down. And then we're going to kill the crab. Now we're going to wait a little bit to kill the crab. And the reason why you want to wait to kill the crab is because you want to have your Genju stacks as soon as Baron spawns. Let's go and sweep into the pit. Put a ward here. Let's go and grab this. So you want to have your full Genju stacks when you start Baron, right? It's just, it's just stronger. Might as well, right? So what you want to do is you want to make sure that, you know, you kill the crab around five seconds. So we can go ahead and kill it now. That way when it comes out, you know, you have the full Genjus. Okay, I don't, don't even, no, okay, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <clears throat> so a lot of people are probably like, when do you use E on Baron? When do you not use E on Baron? So, oops, yeah, I just mean ping that. Um, so you want to use your E on Baron whenever you want to kill it really quickly, or you think it'll be uncontested. If you think you're going to get contested, then you don't want to use your E, because if somebody comes and you don't have E up, you can't kill them. It's the same for, like, your dragon and your buffs. You don't want to be, like, using your E on buffs if you think you're going to have to contest it. Because your damage with E versus without E is super different. So at this point, we're strong enough. We should be able to beat their whole team. But, you know, you don't want to throw too hard. We know where at least two of them are. Why not, right? Who's gonna die first, me or the tower? <laughs> so the thing is, is if they Zanya's in the middle of a wave, you can just use your death dance to heal off minions. Okay. Let's just go ahead and heal up. Sometimes I'll hit minions instead of inhibitor, just to make sure I'm at full HP. Oh, rip. I was gonna kill him too! He's gonna explode! And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how... Drum roll, please. That is how you... Get... Diamond 5 in the Chinese server. Now, technically, my MMR is high diamond. But, I've been slowly doing... Oh, Diamond 4, right, they changed it, didn't they? I've been slowly playing on the Chinese server, so it's I'm happy to be in Diamond, but we're going to keep going to get Masters, and we're going to be mixing it up with NA, Philippines, Vietnam, and a bunch of other regions. So hopefully that game was helpful for all of you guys, and I will see you next time. Stop that.